Hey, my friend, is this how a successful entrepreneur looks like? I mean, if you think yes, then I just totally love you and send you all the best energy because I have a way harder time answering that question with yes, this is a successful entrepreneur. Um, it's never been a thing. I mean, I've never described myself that way. And actually, I recently caught myself telling my coach that I've never even considered myself an entrepreneur, uh, which is actually a good reason why coaches need coaches because they have major blind spots just like everybody else. Mm. So, so we talked about this and of course, not surprised at all, uh, she asked me to go through an exercise that I have forced people through all the time and I totally love it. Acknowledge your own accomplishments. Without letting limiting beliefs or the inner critic get in the way. So it's a it's a simple game. And try it out for yourself because you have something too, I bet, where this is super helpful. Uh, you write down facts only and not your thoughts about those facts. So it's a little uncomfortable, but uh, it's possible. Facts only. So, I am a successful entrepreneur was the sentence and I was supposed to write down facts. And so I wrote down, I've been in business for 20 years. I founded my company myself. Uh, no grants, no loans. Been profitable with solid six-figure income most of those years. Not all, but most of them. Overall, made like a created a seven-figure income with this business. Spent no money on advertising or marketing, built a purely word of mouth, referral only business. Um, I have a client list that includes some huge brands, uh, international brands, German brands and companies like uh, well, BMW, Porsche, Audi. I've worked for all of those companies. Also uh, leading museums. I have taught workshops at some of the major tech companies now. So I have a team, a remote team in four countries, five countries, four, five. Um, I had a novel with Random House many, many years back, a rom-com. Um, and uh, I won a Red Dot Award once with a graphic designer at, on his team. And um, I've coached people on five continents just like in the last year or two. So that's my list. And if it were someone else's list, I'd, I'd find it pretty cool. And it's my list and so I'm super uncomfortable. I mean, like even sharing that, I shared it in a newsletter, now I'm sharing it in a video, very uncomfortable. And uh, it's still a lot, it's still a lot of, oh, but that's not that great. You did that, but that's not that great. And, uh, it's important to do it because now I hear that voice and I'm like, okay, okay, that's just my inner critic. It's a neat list. It's good. And this exercise is not a quick fix as I just demonstrated, but it's a great, great starting point because I have it on my, on my bathroom mirror now. Uh, I have, I am a successful entrepreneur on my bathroom mirror and around it, I have those facts and I'm just collecting facts. And so when my belief that I am an entrepreneur gets shaky, I just have to look in my bathroom mirror. And in the beginning it was kind of, ugh, that feels extremely uncomfortable, but now I'm like, that's actually pretty cool. So the more often I see it, the cooler it gets. And I was like, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of a successful entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah, like it. And I also write little notes to myself uh, that start with, I am proud that. I don't do it every day, but most days in my office, today I'm not in my office right now, but when I'm back home in my office, that's when I pick that habit up again. And I just wanted to share that because just because I'm a coach and I have the tools, it still means I have to do the work. It's not like, the moment you do coaching training, the work is over. There's still stuff coming up, limiting beliefs, a negative self-talk, uh, and you have to self-coach through it because you have the tools, but you also have to work with a coach usually. Right now I have two coaches, and that's actually rather common um, because we believe in coaching, that's why. 
and uh, I talk it through with my mastermind peeps, with colleagues. Um, I take walks with my dog to be really with my thoughts. I journal in the morning. So journaling for me is my favorite tool for working through my issues or getting just clarity what's going on. Uh, not even resolving them, just knowing what's going on. And all of that together, receiving coaching, self-coaching, journaling, uh, spending me time just without distractions, that helps me to grow into who I want to be. Or when we talk about that successful entrepreneur thing again, show up as the successful entrepreneur I already am. And if you're struggling with showing up authentically as an entrepreneur or not, uh, let me know because this is what I love to work on with you. Okay, see you next time.